Hello and welcome back to this amazing channel. This is Abhinav. In this particular video, we'll discuss about the problem A and problem B of code forces around 9:32. So the problem A is entertainment in MAC and problem B is informatics in MAC. We will discuss both these problems. So let's first discuss the problem number A. In problem number A, it is given that there is a string S. Okay. And for the string S, what you can do, you can perform two operations. First, either you can have a string S and you can add a reverse string at the end of it. Second operation is you can just reverse the string. Okay. So basically we have two operations. For example, let's say the string is CPM they have given. Okay. So what we can do in the operation number one, you can have that string and add that string with the reverse of it. So what's the reverse of this string? Reverse of is MPC. This is what you can do. And the final product will be CPM MPC. Okay. And second type of operation is that you can simply reverse the skin uh, like uh, a string. So this will simply become MPC. So you can do these both the operations, right? Now they are also given you an even number n. So actually they have given you an even number n. So what solution I have written, actually I didn't uh, read this thing that the number is always even, right? So I write a very, you know, different type of solution, but the solution will be very easy. I will tell you what. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So basically there's a number even n. Okay. There's an n which is an even number. Now what you can do, you have to perform any of these operation n number of time. Means not any, any, any one of that. Like you have to basically perform n, n operations and operations right and each operation can be of any of these two types right basically overall there should be exactly n operations exactly n right now n is an even number now see guys by doing this you want the final product as a lexicographically smaller string you have to output a string which is lexicographically smaller right so now guys what you can do here let's discuss that what we can do here so guys, what we'll do here is let's say if the string is CPM, right? Let's first find the reverse of this string. It is MPC. So let's first find which is smaller. So if you will see CPM and MPC, CPM is smaller. CPM is smaller. So if CPM is smaller, there is no need to reverse it because if you will reverse it, it will become a greater string. We don't want that. We want a smaller only and if we will reverse it will become greater. So we will keep it as a smaller only but still we have to do n operations. So first operation was this that reverse is string and append it. Second was reverse it. So even if you will do this operation where you will append the reverse string then again you will append the reverse string it will become a large string and large string is again lexicographically greater. So lexicographically smaller string means that uh, the characters should also be smaller. For example, let's see smaller than M and its length should also be less. So we have to try to make length also less, right? So we don't want, we will not make multiple that append operation. So what we will do if N is even, we know N is even. So what I will do if this S, which is the given string, if it is lexicographically smaller than it is reverse, if it is lexicographically smaller than it is reverse, then what we will do we will simply reverse it n times n times and if we reverse a string even number of times because n is even then it will remain same for example s is cpm let's say n is 4 if you will reverse it four times let's say first time second time third time and then again four time it will remain same right so means if you will reverse a string even number of time, it will remain same. So if a string is less than its reverse string or even equal to, that means no need to, you know, append anything or doing anything. Simply perform the reverse operation n number of time and this s will remain s. But there can be a case that the reverse string is smaller. For example, if the string is cba, in this case, its reverse is smaller. Now what we will do, now we will once reverse it. So there are basically 
n number of operation which are even number n is a even number in this case what we will do in this case we will perform n minus 1 reverse operation so after n minus 1 reverse operations what will happen it will become reverse because when we do even number or reverse it remains same when we do odd number or reverse what it will do it will become reverse so because n is even n minus 1 will be odd and now the remaining one operation because we have to do n operations right and we have done, we have done only n minus 1 operation so for remaining one operation we will append the so this is reverse right now we will append its reverse string which is cba into so the final output will be this right so if you will see my code also what i have did is that if s is less than or equal to ref simply print s ignore this because n is always even here i am checking whether it is even or not because it's always even it will print s only and if it's not small let's say rev is smaller so when rev is smaller simply print rev and the original string which is the reverse of it they are reverse of each other right that is what i did uh, my code is a little bit complex because i didn't consider the fact that n is always even otherwise this if else is not required right great now uh, let's talk about problem number b which is informatics in mac this was a good question in this question basically you are given an array and you have to divide the array into some sub arrays right uh, basically more than one sub arrays such that the max of each sub array is same what is max max is the smallest non negative integer that does not belong to the array let's take an example for example let's take this example only which is 0 1 7 0 1 7 one zero one zero three okay let's take this example now what will happen what will happen here is that when we are taking this example let's first find the so basically we have to divide the array into some parts let's say this is the first part this is the second part this is the third part and now for each part each subsequent we have to find its max what is max max is the smallest number which is not present there so here if you will see this part, which is the smallest number which is not present. See, 0 is present, 1 is also present, 2 is not present. Here also, 0 is also present, 1 is also, 2 is not present, 0, 1, 2. So for all of them, 2 is not present. So 2 is the common max that they, these all arrays have. So first of all, we have to find out what can be this common max, a max which all the su sub segments can have. So basically guys, the max of the whole array will act as the common max so if you will see in this array if you will find the max of this array which is the smallest integer which does not belong 2 so max of this array is 2 you can see 0 is present 1 is also present 2 is not present now we will see all those sub segments which have max 2 so we will start from start and we will go until we find a sub segment where 2 is not present that means not 2 Basically, until we have all the numbers which are less than 2. For example, for example, if you will see, we came here, okay, we got 0. Now we came here, we got 1. That means we got all the numbers which are less than 2. That means the max of this segment will be 2. Yeah, we got one segment whose max is 2. Exactly. Because still here, we have all the numbers which are less than 2. Now continue. We got 7, 7 is greater than 2. No worries. We got one, okay. We got a number which is less than 2. Now, here. Again, we got a number which is less than 2. Now, we got all the numbers are less than 2. 0 is also there, 1 is also there. Means this can be again a next segment. Now, again, we got a number which is less than 2. We got a number which is less than 2. Means we got all the numbers which are less than 2. This can be a, again, a subsequent which have a 2. Now, this will be remaining. So, what we can do, at the last, we will include this last whatever elements are remaining let's say there's a 5 also we will include that in the last wala segment only so for this also max will be 2 only right that is what i am doing but in some cases it is not possible for example if the case is like 0 1 2 3 4 so for this the max will be 5 the max will be 5 because 5 is the smallest integer which is not present if you will see till here so basically in a such sub segment all the numbers which are less than max should be present for example like yahan dekho agar aap to max 2 tha to 2 se chote number kya kya hote hai 0 hota hai 1 hota hai 
तो सारे लोग इसमें प्रेजेंट है यहाँ भी जीरो वन प्रेजेंट यहाँ जीरो अब यहाँ पे चाहिए हमें सचतम सेगमेंट वेयर ऑल द नंबर फ्रॉम जीरो टू फोर आर प्रेजेंट इज ओनली वन सब सेगमेंट इज द होल एरे बट वी वॉन्ट मोर देन वन तो इफ मोर देन वन इज नॉट पॉसिबल आंसर विल भी माइनस वन तो हाउ आई डिड इट हेयर माई कोड यू कैन सी आई मेड टू रॉन्ग आंसर विद वेरी very bad mistake the mistake was that i was doing here if you will see i was doing mpi and i have to do mpvi here why i will tell you that was the very silly mistake i did because of that i got two wrong submissions but uh, what what to do so yeah if you will see here what i am doing is first of all i am taking the n and taking the vector now i am taking a map this map i will use to find the smallest number which is not present in the array So what I am doing for each element of this vector, I am storing it in the map. Basically, I am saying map value of that is equal to one. Okay. Now I am again I iterating through the map, basically to the all the elements from zero, one, two, three, four, five, and whichever is the first smallest number for which the value of map is zero. That means it was not present in the vector. We are storing it as the max, right? So we got the max now. Now if max is zero, see if max is zero means if the whole array Does not contain zero. So what we can do? We can simply this. Uh, we can simply split the array into two parts. Take the first element separate, and remaining element separate. That's all. Because we know whatever is the element max will be zero only. हर एक सब सेगमेंट का जीरो ही होगा अगर पूरे एरे का जीरो है. आप चेक कर सकते हो. So if max is zero, I'm simply saying there will be two sub sub segments. One will be from one to one, which is here. And second will be from two to n till the last. That's all. This is the corner case. But if max is not zero, then what to do? In that case, I am first of all clearing my map because I have to use this map again. Now what I am doing is, as I told you, I will start from the start. For example, in this array, in the same example, I will start from here, and I will have a map. So currently, map is empty. Currently, map is empty, right? Now what I will do? Now what I will do? See, my left is zero. Initially, my left is zero means my left is here. Okay, you can see. And my right, and I will start from i. So first, i will be here because this value is less than max. You can see. If this v i is less than max, what I am doing? I am making m p of v i is equal to one. Means I am making m p of zero equal to one. Next is next is one. Okay, next is one. So again, this is also less than m x. So basically, we are searching for all those numbers which are less than m x because that's that all the numbers should be present in that particular sub segment. Okay, this is also a number which is less than m x. For this also, I made m p one. Now you can see the the size of m p is two. Means we got two numbers in the sub sequence till now, which are less than max, and we need two numbers also. Because if max is two, that means there should be two numbers less than it. What zero and one? If max is three, there will be three numbers. If max is five, there will be five numbers. The numbers less than max are equal to max only. So if the size of M P becomes equal to max, that means the the sub segment that we are currently considering from left to that i, left is the start part, i is the current where we are. So from left to i. That can act as a subsequence because in that particular subsequence, all the numbers which are less than max are present. That means for that subsequence, max is equal to the common max only, which is two. So, आप देखो इसका max जो है वो two ही होगा. So we can take it as a sequence. I'm adding plus one because it's a one base indexing. So I'm adding it in the answer that this is a particular sub segment that we can consider. And now. I am again making my map clear because now I have to again check for under subsequence, and now my left will become this because this is already taken. Now again we will check. So see, this is seven. Seven is not less than max, so we don't have to consider seven. We are only storing when it's less than max. Here one one is less than max. Okay, make M P of one is equal to one. Now zero. Okay, again zero is equal to one. Again, you can see M P of size becomes two, means this subsequent also contains max as two. Okay, it's told this also. Now move forward. Now left will come here, and max will again become empty. 
अगेन मैक्स ऑफ वन इज इक्वल टू वन मैक्स ऑफ जीरो इक्वल टू जीरो अगेन वन मीन्स दिस विल ऑल्सो गिव यू मैक्स ऑफ टू ऑनली ओके एंड नाउ हेयर दिस विल गिव नथिंग इट विल सिंपली मूव ऑन नाउ यू कैन सी दैट योर वेक्टर विल कंटेन वन कॉमा टू विच इज दिस देन टू कॉमा फोर विच टू कॉमा फाइव विच इज टू थ्री फाइव टू थ्री सॉरी थ्री कॉमा फाइव विच इज थ्री फोर फाइव and then it will contain 6.7 but this two element which are remaining can be taken from this by this last cell only so i will simply make this to 9 which is the size of the array so it is basically what it is basically 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so that is what i am doing here also that uh, that the for the last pair its second element should be equal to m that we all know so first pair first element will, will always be zero Or not zero one, but last pair last element will also be equal to n. Okay, and finally, if answer dot size is less than two, that means answer is not possible. There is only one sub segment possible. Print minus one because sub segment should be more greater than equal to. Else, if it is possible, print number of sub segments and then also print their first and last value. Because that is what I am doing. If you have any doubt, you can ask that to me in the comment section, and or you can also. Join the Telegram to ask your doubt. Thank you.